What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Uncrowned Otaku, and it's time for another death battle prediction video. Now, we just got hit with Shazam versus Captain Marvel, and of course, Shazam smashed it. I told y'all, by theory of relative properties, if Captain Marvel couldn't beat Android 18, but Goku can smash Android 18 in his God mode, and Goku can't beat Superman, but Shazam can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman, there's no way Shazam was taking that L. Now, Shazam vs. Superman is another story for another day. We're not going to get into that. We are going to get into how I took this dub. Although in the comments, I didn't see anybody rocking with Captain Marvel. So, I think we all were right on this one. So, like I said, 2019 is the year of nothing but dubs. We ain't taking no L's ever. Which leads me to this next coming death battle. It's super tough. And the reason why I didn't post this video as soon as death battle came out is because, honestly, I don't know who's going to win. This is going to be... A crapshoot for me. Next death battle we have in the left corner. The I don't I don't actually know how to announce these guys because I barely know them. So what's in the left corner we have the negative opposite of Mario, the yellow and blue overall wearing fart smelling super hero making Wario versus at the right corner the king of Dreamland, the master supreme who protects everybody. We have the perfection incarnate, King Dedede. Now it's Wario versus King Dedede. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say Wario takes this death battle because they're both in Smash, and if we look at Smash, Wario's one of Wario's final smashes is that he becomes a superhero cape and all he can jump super high he can hit super hard and he has the atomic fart that atomic fart charged up is no joke and he eats pretty much anything so the superhero form automatically made me lean towards wario but that's not what pushed it over the edge for me what pushed it over the edge for me was wario wear if they pull feats from the games wario wear wario does some ridiculous like Fourth wall breaking, incredible, how could he, this is impossible in dimensions. He does some pretty incredible feats. And with D to D, yes, he has a hammer that has like some kind of freaking jet engine and he swings it around like it's nothing. But D to D loses to Kirby over and over again. Yes, he reigns supreme over Dreamland. Yes, he protects Dreamland from some pretty evil beings that Kirby didn't know at the time. But still, D to D, for him to call himself perfection, he, he takes a lot of L's. And I don't I haven't played the WarioWare games personally, but I've seen a couple like snippets from WarioWare. And I think if they pull from that, anything with a game that crazy that can get that creative will tend to lean to some impressive feats, bare minimum. And like Wario goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mario, and we've seen Mario versus Sonic, both fights. Mario, he he's pretty legit himself. So this one, again, it's still a crapshoot. I barely know either characters, but I'm gonna go with Wario. Super form. Any feats from Wario Wear, it's hard to top. D to D, formidable opponent, but I believe he's still on like a regular human power scaling. But hey, what do y'all think? Who's gonna take this next death battle? King D to D, Wario, drop some comments down below. Let me know why. I'm gonna be in the comments with y'all. I'm gonna defend my honor if you try to come at me sideways too. But that's that's the fun in these death battles. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Y'all already know what to do. Go ahead, just get it done. Ain't no fire, cause again, I'm still on my phone, but I'm trying. 